Hi everyone, it's The Real Sweet Me and thank you for coming to the video blog of my updates for my gastric laroscopic banding that I had done on April 23rd. Um, it's been exactly one week today woo that I had it done and uh, I thought I would give everybody an update and also thank everybody for their support and um, just kind of fill everybody in on what's been going on. Uh, some of you follow me on Twitter and some of you don't. So for those of you who have never uh, met me in real life, uh, get used to crazy voices, weird facial expressions, weird things with my mouth, uh, and flailing hands because that's just what I do. Welcome to my world. Um, so just wanted to say thank you for everybody, to everybody who's helped me with this. I know that it's been, um, I've had some super great support from everybody, both in real life and online. Uh, my friends have been fantastic. My family has been, they've been wonderful. Um, and Twitter has also been fantastic. Uh, you guys have provided me with an outlet to uh, talk to people when I'm at home recuperating and I'm on my own, when I'm on my own, when I get bored and I get down. So that's not good. Um, so thank you very much. And lots of questions, which I love. So bring on the questions. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, come on down, come on down. Follow me, the real sweet me. Ask me questions on banding. Um, I'm up for it. Uh, or if you have a banding experience too, I'd also love to hear about it. So as I said, let's get to some some numbers here and some deets. I started my pre-op diet April 16th. I uh, went in for surgery April 23rd, and um, the weight. Uh, it's been two weeks since I started pre-op. So April 16th to April 23rd, pre-op diet, 12 pounds down. Um, April 23rd till the 30th, another week, I am now at officially 19 pounds down uh, and I'm uh, pretty excited, thinking it's pretty good. Uh, I wasn't so excited earlier in the week, uh, earlier in the week that the, I had it done on Friday and I'd say by Monday I was an emotional basket case. I was, uh, well, on Demerol. Uh, which didn't help and the pain the Demerol didn't really help at all it just kind of made me foggy and um, grumpy and uh, yeah it was pretty brutal but I did get to take a shower which was fantastic shower day Woo keeps me going um, that was really nice today I got to take off my Steri strips from my stitches and everything looks good and uh, yeah uh, I seem to have come out of the fog I stopped taking the Demerol actually I just started taking Tylenol and that seemed to help but um, it's also perked my spirits up because I was a little down. Although I did get some phone calls from some great friends and that really, really picked my spirits up as well. So I'm spoiled that way. Uh, so yeah, also another big thing was getting to have coffee. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a little bit of a workaholic, which is probably why I'm going to get a little bit depressed because I'm not at work and I'm not with other people and I'm a very social person, but also my coffee. So this is my coffee mug for those of you who have never don't know who I am I'm you know my incarnations of sweet candy 15 and Jay James and blah, 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 and now the real sweet me I am a coffee holic love the coffee and this is my standard mug I would have like a big two-hander nothing wrong with a two-hander um it was uh, about I probably have about three cups of these a day maybe four if work was super busy and stressed now I'm down to this one-hander and size does not matter it really is quality of the coffee that you drink but uh, I must say I'm actually doing quite well on this my stomach is really the size of um, like a you know a giant gobstopper jawbreaker thing but there is quite a difference in size size doesn't matter so don't worry what you hear size doesn't matter um, also changing in sizes is uh, my utensils so now I'm using children's utensils which you know they're very cute they're very tiny they're very um, handy but when you're eating or drinking out because this is like a meal for me so when you're eating or drinking something a soup or something out of that size like I mean you, you kind of have to take small bites and sip uh, I've gone from uh, clear fluids um, so I started the first week off as having um, Pedialyte water chicken broth the odd beef broth uh, two, which was brutal. Not that I was hungry, but ugh, you just wanted to chew something. You have these teeth, you went, rrr, rrr, and you can't. Um, so now I'm having full fluids. So I get to have coffee with milk, fat-free milk. 
Um, I can have fat-free soups. So I have fat-free cream of mushroom soup and I blend it all up so there's no ma mushroom bits. And I made it this killer bean soup with all these different kinds of beans to get my protein up because I uh, went out for a walk yesterday and I found that I was actually kind of weak um, uh, today when I woke up and I realized that what happened was now that I'm feeling so great and I want to do all these things, uh, I don't have the protein in my body to sustain it because my caloric intake is down to, to um, obviously, really, really low. Uh, if I'm only eating a quarter cup of, quarter to a half a cup of, um, of soup a day, um, uh, three times a day, uh, or a meal, like a half a meal replacement drink, which is uh, really nothing. And God, those things are disgusting. I, don't, I can't even, I, oh. so I made a bean soup and I blended it up and it was really good, but it's not going to be so pretty in about three hours. My children are going to love me. Um, but everything seems to be going well, actually. I'm, uh, I'm feeling good. My energy is back. Um, I, don't, I don't see weight loss. Um, my friends and, and my family say that they see a change already. But, I mean, I guess, I mean, it's 19 pounds. So I know that something's gone. But um, I don't really see it. Uh, why am I doing this? A lot of people have asked me, why are you doing it? You're not that big. And, you know... Um, I actually, you know, I am, I, my knees are killing me and I love to run and jog and, oh, that's my cat. He hears me, he knows I'm on here. I knew that was gonna happen. Um, so for me, you know, if I was in my 20s, when I've tried to lose weight in the past, it was very much for aesthetic reasons. I wanted to be sexually attractive to um, members of the opposite sex or I wanted to, you know, find, find a man. Uh, um, it's just not the case anymore. Um, I have two boys and child's bearing, well, it, it had a toll on my body, but also um, I wanna be here for them and I wanna keep up with them, two boys, two busy active boys and I really wanna be here for them. And then I want to be able to run again and compete in, in um, you know, five, 10 Ks and, and just be that healthy person and, and that athletic person that I know is in me, um, just hiding with some extra padding. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it. I think once I hit my 30s, I really realized that it has to be about what I want and it has to be what makes me happy and it has to be in all areas of my life. And I found that probably my body and my weight was the one area that I, I didn't feel like I had that much control over and was holding me back and holding me back professionally. I mean, I, I like to wear suits and I, I'm, I mean, I have a high pressure job and, and, and it's, um, you know, very visible. So you know, I had to, um, you know, I really wanted to, to do this for myself. So, uh, yeah, I had some guilt issues, I think in the beginning, because why was it, why was I doing this for me? And I don't know, who am I to, to do this? And you know, it, it's not right. I have this, this money should be spent on my children. You know, it should always be spent on your children, but uh, no, I chose to spend it on mommy and hopefully they'll see the benefits of it as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, I know that so far they like it cause I'm really happy and they're happy when I'm happy. So, um, yeah. That's it. So I'm gonna try to do this um, every week or every two weeks, just depending on when I get a chance, and I'll try to keep you guys updated. And if you don't follow me on Twitter and you see me on here and you want to follow me on Twitter, it's the real sweet me, and give me a follow. And the blog that I'm also I'm gonna put some before and after shots when there's some serious weight loss going on. I'll, I'll actually put up those before shots because I try to make myself as ugly as possible in those before, so I look that much more smoking in the afters. Um, those that's it. The blog is called the Sweet Skinny dot blogspot.com and um, yeah I'm just getting started posting some stuff up on there so look forward to hearing from you and hit me up if you're on Twitter or whatever and have a great weekend because it's Friday thank you very much guys and we'll see you around